Oh, hello. What is an angiogram? Warning, the following video contains a scene of nudity and later scenes of blood. Recently, I went to John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford to find out exactly what's going on in my head. I woke up incredibly early. Just before 5 a.m. And my family and I went down to Oxford. We arrived at about quarter past seven. By about eight o'clock, we were sent to the Neuroscience Investigation Unit. Okay, so I've just signed in and I've just found out that I've got my own room, which is great. Look at this. Uh, a bit later on in the morning, my blood pressure was taken and everything there was fine. Although because I was trying to vlog having my blood pressure taken, I was moving my arms up and down as vloggers do. And I sent the machine a bit crazy and it got tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter on my arm. Is supposed to get as red as this? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't think I've mm -hmm. ever had one so vigorous as this before. You weren't moving around so much, you weren't finished. Oh, is that okay? <laughs> okay. A bit earlier on where it said restrict patient movement. <laughs> Sam, and this is before the procedure. Wow. It was an early start. Are the glasses on or off? That's in case you want to read a book in your dreams. It looks very uh, futuristic. These are the screens. It's not particularly tight. I'm very sorry. Yeah, we'll look after him. Excellent. Bye. See you later. I did actually. I checked because I've never trusted the patient and never heard of him. Particularly males, that women obviously are much better at it. Do you think Jeremy have done quite a good job? He's done a very lovely job, which is not something that men normally are good at. No, it's very rare to get that comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it was wrong out of the first three. She didn't want to say it, but it was. Okay. That's kind of a bit of a pain in the ass. Well, can I press the red button? Is it like a red thing going on on the top? There is a red thing going on on the top. It's recording. There is a excellent. Um, I always worry I can get to press records. Thank you. Why are you having this procedure done? Well, well uh, just an investigation for uh, Mr. Green and Professor. Okay. Have you had some symptoms of that? They're not. Have you had some symptoms they are not quite sure about? Or? Uh, no, no. It's um, basically the last uh, main well, treatment that I had was a stereotactic radio surgery in 2010. Okay. Um, I've had a couple of checkups since then. Okay. But, um, I think they want a more thorough check just yeah. to see. Exactly what's going on. Okay. Wow. This, is, this is literally so taking years. Yes, yes. Making things a bit sticky. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah.
Let me go. Okay, we're gonna get maybe hot in the face now. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Once it was all over, I was wheeled back up to my room and I had to lie flat on the bed for four hours because if I moved, um, stretched my leg or whatever, I could have ripped the artery uh, that I've just been working on or working in, or sending something up. I could have split that open and uh, it you know, could have sprayed everywhere. So uh, I had to lie completely flat. And um, as soon as I got back up to the room, I was given uh, sandwich from my mum and my god did I demolish that sandwich yes I did um. that is Sam does can everybody lay flat and eat and drink you can if you've not eaten since five o'clock this morning I haven't had a headache for five years and I don't plan on getting one I did have pain in the head and I think that was not a uh, to a headache, I can't really remember what a headache was, is because uh, I haven't had it for so long. But I think because I was in such an awkward position, because usually in bed I lie on my side, so I lie on my back stiff like this for hours and hours and hours, and um, also the fact that I was quite dehydrated and had anything to drink for hours and hours. So as I went to sleep and when I woke up, I had this pain in the head, uh, which didn't feel too good. But other than that, the actual procedure was, was painless, however, other than the first prick where they put the local anaesthetic in. The other bad thing was that just once they'd finished the procedure, the doctor applied a lot of pressure to my groin uh, to ensure that the artery closes or something. And um, the, uh, the average Joe doesn't get a lot of pressure to their groin usually and um, that was for about 10 minutes I think. You doing alright? Yeah just a bit just hot. A bit hot. I mean I'm, I'm not hot because it's hot. Uh, it's hot because it's pressure on my front. Yeah yeah. Um, yeah. It is hot. I just want to say a massive thank you to John Radcliffe Hospital and all of the staff there that made my stay really, really pleasant. Thank you as well for letting me take my camera into theatre and film the procedure. Um, I hope this helps people if they're going to have an angiogram or if they just want to know what it involved. Um, thank you very much. See you soon.